Hi Aries, today we are doing June 2022 predictions. So I will link all signs down below. I recommend watching for your sun, moon, and rising. So we're gonna have spirit what's going on in June. If you haven't already um, and you like my style of reading, please subscribe. I do pick a random subscriber every month for a free reading and I also offer paid private readings for $25 right now. Email will be down below if you're interested in that. But let's hop right into the predictions. Spirit, what is happening for Aries in June? What is happening to Aries in June? You show us Aries in June. And then their environment. More information. What is going on for Aries in June? Bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords. We actually have a decent amount of court cards here. So for you, Aries, in the month of June, we have Queen of Cups representing you. So it kind of looks like May might have been really eventful, like not in a bad way, but I think things might become a little bit calmer in June. Um, I feel like things are going to be going well, though. Like you're going to be feeling good and confident and your environment is totally stable. We have the Queen of Pentacles, too, um, for what your environment will be like. So we have these two queens representing you in the month of June. So I feel like the Queen of Cups representing you is definitely... Just being more chill, tapping more into your intuitive side. Um, I see in the past I said it was probably more busy because we have the Six of Wands here. Maybe you guys were recently recognized for some achievement. Uh, you maybe got promoted, got a new job, something new started, and people you know, were there for you, and you've had all the support, and maybe there's a lot of stuff going on, and you're really busy. There's just like things like... You know, so many places to go, so many things to think about, so many choices to make um, May, in May. But this month, um, it looks like you made the right choices recently, in the recent past. And it's leading to a uh, more abundant, uh, peaceful, like, doing your own thing and loving it type energy for June. So this is great. What you expect to happen, we have strength reversed. Hmm. Maybe, like, things are going so well or, like, even one thing's going well, but you're like afraid that you're like pushed your luck or something. Like you're afraid it's going to fail. You're like, like how, or like maybe it has been so busy or like, and you have this advancement in life somehow for your situation. Um, and you're like kind of afraid that you won't be able to handle it all. You might have made some big, um, it looks like there's some big decision that was made or something. Maybe some of you guys had. Mood with the Six of Swords of what you fear, you might be afraid that um, this decision you made recently was the wrong one, and you and you're maybe you're afraid of leaving the past behind. Maybe change in this situation um, scared you because you don't really know where you're, what's headed um, in the future, and maybe there's some travel, and you're afraid to do that too. Something could have happened this eclipse season. Maybe you were really uh, nervous about that, like something came up from the past and kind of sparked this change, maybe. And then for what you want, we have the two of wand reverse. Yeah, I think, Aries, I'm getting this energy that you want things to slow down, like things are just moving really fast, but that not in a negative way. It's just a lot is going on. Um, and you kind of want things to slow down. <laughs> you want things to be calmer. Um, maybe there was a lot of partying, celebrating, um, a lot of events. Uh, maybe there's still some like weddings or something you're going to in June or something like that. And you don't really want to maybe. Or maybe that will be, you're going to just like take time to yourself. And you've been so busy, you're going to like maybe cancel that event and do your own thing. Because I feel like with the Queen of Cups representing you in June, and then what happens next in June, we have the High Priestess. So I feel like you're really tapping into like who you are and what you want, and you're taking time for you and doing your own thing. <laughs> and you might um, 
not be as social in June as you were last month. I feel like maybe there'll just be less things going on too. And for the final outcome, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're taking a step back and you're really like evaluating your life. Um, things, you know, looking at how things have gone. I think there's been some sort of major change recently, but you're kind of like just sitting back and trying to figure out what the future holds. We have the King of Wands is the last card. Like you're coming out of June feeling confident, in charge, like planning your life. And I feel like you feel like the world is yours, like you can have anything. I feel like whatever has been happening is really giving you like a confidence boost and maybe is actually providing you with um, more abundance, like financially, that you are able to travel and do things that you used to not be able to do. Maybe that started already and that's why you were pretty busy. But it seems like there's just this fear like you're like, oh, this is too good to be true, but it looks like it, that's not the case because we're ending with the king of uh, wands. <laughs> and that's like a fire set, it's still you, so. Spirit, what can Aries expect for the month of June? What can Aries expect for the month of June? Maybe some of you guys will be slowing down because you've been too busy and you haven't been taking care of yourself. So, you, so yeah, because we have bad health and community here. And what you expect to happen, we have strength reverse. So uh, maybe there has been a lot of celebration. Maybe you've been like super focused on work, going out a lot or doing something like that, that you haven't been prioritizing your health and um, your like mental health and well-being overall. So you're going to be going out less in June and taking care of yourself more. And that's going to be really good for you, like mentally and physically, because we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like the Cups is representing your emotions and the Pentacles is like your stability, like in the physical realm, like, you know, like, so your emotional and physical well-being will be your priority in June. There will be less partying, less, or even if you don't party, like, less stress in your body in um, multiple ways. Like maybe you'll be working less because something big happens. So yeah, I think you're, you're afraid of what will happen when you slow down and stuff like that, but you know you need to and you're going to take care of yourself. So, um, and if you haven't, this might be just spirit telling you right now that if you are like worried about your health and like, you know, staying strong, um, maybe for some people they're trying to avoid drinking possibly or something like that too. That's why you might be like not going out as much. Uh, and like you're really committed to improving your well-being. And it looks like um, if you do make yourself your health a priority, you will come out on top. You'll be feeling like more energized, able to do more with that king of wands as the outcome. So yeah, if you take some time, listen to yourself, like, you know, with the high priestess of what happens next, really tune in to what your body needs. Take that time. Um, you'll end up like having so much more energy and being able to do so much more. You just need to take a little time out, it looks like. Spirit, what else for Aries the month of June? Who is involved, astrological influences or other messages? Pisces could be involved. Or maybe this is just um, indicating too that there is like emotional overwhelm that um, that's what you're focused on with that Queen of Cups too that kind of confirms that. But also maybe a Pisces is involved in your life or you have that placement too. And then we have Mercury. Yeah, so I feel like Mercury is also telling me like your days have been busy, you've been communicating a lot, doing a lot. Um, maybe there's been a lot of like short distance travel because that travel kind of came out earlier, but it's not like long distance and you're being called to slow down. And I feel like Mercury, like, is the guy, like you know, he's kind of a trickster, like just busy, a lot of energy. And I feel like that's how you are and you're kind of getting worn down. So um, yeah, it's time to just briefly, you know, just take a little step back, take care of yourself, you'll be good. Yeah, we have third house, which is like just what I said. And then uh, the North Node and Capricorn. Yeah, having more boundaries and structures like in your day-to-day -day life. Um, maybe there's like people in your life that are always trying to get you um, to go out or maybe they're always they kind of like drain your energy or something like that. Uh, no, your, your focus is on the future and your well-being. So you're going to have more boundaries, more structure um, with your day-to-day -day activities. 
Um, I think you're going to have less just people time. And instead of focusing on things in the past, people in the past, you're going to be focused more on like creating the foundations and the structure for your life and your well-being. Yeah, you're really um, getting decisive and being clear on what you want and like getting more in tune with your body, your intuition, your spirituality. And I think, yeah, overall, it's a good vibe. I feel like things have been going well, but you just have to make sure to take care of your health and, you know, put yourself first because it can be reverse. Like here, I think maybe you, you've been helping other people out a lot and doing a lot for other people, and it's okay to take some time to yourself, Spirit is saying. Um, let's see. Let's roll some dice here. Are there any important dates or maybe an angel number or something for Aries? Feel called to do this. We have two nines here. Um, so the number nine could be important. For some reason, I thought of the nine of pentacles. It's just kind of like doing your own thing, like you're doing you know, what's best for you. Um, and then we have two. So... Maybe the 29th, the 2nd, or the 9th could be important dates in June, too. But um, the number 9 seems significant. And going from number 2 to 9, I feel like, yeah, it's more um, focused on your wishes and desires instead of the communities or partners or groups' <laughs> desires. So um, your spirit guides really came through uh, strong today with a clear message. I hope this was helpful. Again, all of the signs will be linked down below if you want to watch your sun, moon, and rising to get a full glimpse ahead at the month of June. Let me know how this resonated. Let me know how you're doing. Again, if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. So I will see you in the next one. Have a great month. Bye, Aries. <laughs>